Hey gang, Nick Howell from NetApp, tech marketing engineer for the VMware space. Who's had to deal with alignment, or should I say misalignment issues within their data center? Quite a few of us, if, we, if you've been around for some time. Pre-Windows 2008, pre-Red Hat 6, pre-vSphere 5, before everybody started centering um, uh, offsets on one meg. Uh, it, it was a very, very prevalent problem and is still a very, probably one of the most common problems that we've heard about for the past few years as well as even today. It's still a big problem. The, the issue is, is that you create a new virtual machine you put it into production, people begin using it, and then it's almost near impossible to take it offline to be able to update it. If, if you've worked in a virtual data center or you work in a virtual data center today, I'm sure this really hits home with you. Well, what if I told you that at NetApp we figured out a way to help you alleviate a lot of those, if not all of those problems, without ever having to take those virtual machines offline? Well, we have. What I want to show you in this video is called optimization and migration. And this is a the initial release of this. Uh, and I want to explain to you what's happening on the back end so that you do have a full understanding uh, of what's going on. Um, if we go over to this scan manager, it's going to show you a list of data stores. And we're going to select this one that is purposely misaligned. Uh, I believe all of these are misaligned to some extent. So let's go ahead and select all of them and we're going to hit scan selected. This is going to take just a few seconds. We're going to wait for this running to say idle again and we'll continue on. What we're going to do here on the back end is we, we figured out that it's the old two wrongs make a right type of scenario. The problem is is that IO is coming down in a piece part fashions between the things so you're almost doing two executions for every one that's necessary because the IO is not coming downstream in an aligned fashion. So what if we lied to VMware and said, no, no, that data store is aligned, and then the stream just came down in one, one solid stream and we just dealt with it on the storage controller. That's essentially what we're doing. So we've been done with our scan here. Let's go over to this virtual machine alignment tab, and we're going to expand all of these folders down just so we can see what's going on. And you'll see that all of these fell under the, you've got aligned, you've got misaligned, and then you've got other. We're going to focus on the misaligned stuff. And since I know that I have a virtual machine in here that is intentionally misaligned, we're going to focus on this one specifically. I'm going to give it a check, and I'm going to say migrate. This looks familiar to some of the other provisioning wizards if you've seen them before. Um, this, is, this is a cluster mode system, so this does work with cluster mode. Currently, uh, it only works with VMFS. Uh, NFS is coming very, very soon, uh, and we'll get to that when we get there. Now, if you already have what we're calling a functionally aligned data store, you'll know what that is after you create your first one, which is what we're going to walk you through here. We're going to create a new one this time, but if you already have one, you certainly can migrate misaligned virtual machines into the uh, the existing one that already exists. So like I said, it's VMFS only. NFS is right around the corner. And we'll create a new data store. We'll call it 10 gig. I guess it wants to. Never mind. And I'm going to call this... I guess it didn't like that. FA, functionally aligned to data store. I'm going to create a new container because it's going to create an iSCSI LUN for me to drop this into. I'm going to do it on this aggregate. Yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and thin provisioning. Gives you some quick overviews here. All we're doing is creating a new volume. We're creating a new LUN with a specialized offset uh, inside of that volume, inside of that LUN. And then we're going to do a storage vMotion of this virtual machine online. This does work. I'm not going to demonstrate it while it's online, but it does work while it's online. Uh, all you're doing is a storage vMotion. And if you've done one of those before, you know that you can do it while you're live. So we're going to click apply here. 
in the previous provisioning and cloning video you saw the workflows of creating a new data store that's essentially all we're doing here what's going on now in the back end is that it's created a volume on the storage it's creating a new LUN it's creating an I group everything that you need to provision a new LUN to a data store is happening we did rescans on the HBAs we refreshed the host storage and now we're creating the VMFS data store inside of that new LUN doing rescans again make sure everything's up to date And last but not least, we're going to relocate the virtual machine or in more intimately known as a SV motion or storage vMotion. So this is a very, very tiny VM. It's only going to take a few seconds to get it moved over. But once we're done, we'll be able to see what's going on here. Show you the output. And I am not speeding this up in any way, shape, or form. We're just letting it happen naturally. If you've got big beefy hosts and big storage controllers and 10 gig ethernet and all kinds of stuff, this is going to happen very fast. And you can do this in bulk with multiple misaligned VMs. You can um, queue it up. You can schedule scans. You can do all of this stuff in a very orchestrated fashion. I just wanted to give you a one-off demonstration here of what optimization can do for you. This can also be used as a tool to migrate, mass migrate virtual machines, um, even though they're aligned. This isn't only for misaligned VMs. One of the hidden gems of it is that you can use it as a uh, mass migration or even an evacuation type of tool if you're moving VMs off of a host or out of a data store. Let's say you wanted to take some particular storage offline and you needed to move it off you can use it as a migration tool as well so that's done we come back to the scan manager over here oh, oh we have a new data store remember we named it functionally aligned data store or FA data store we also append the underscore optimized at the end of the name of the data store so that you know that this is an optimized data store if you take an aligned virtual machine and put it into this data store guess what it's going to be misaligned so we want to really highlight um, that this is an optimized data store. It's for misaligned VMs only to help uh, shield off some of the misaligned I.O. So let's go ahead and just select them all again. Scan selected. Running, running, running. Idle. We're going to go back to virtual machine alignment. Come up here to the top right and click refresh. It's going to reshuffle the folders. And now we have the FA data store optimized under what we're calling functionally aligned with the VM misaligned 01 virtual machine in it. All without taking the virtual machine offline. All we did was the storage vMotion between two data stores. The secret sauce is the LUN offset that's part of, that this LUN uh, it has on the back end storage. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Be happy to answer them for you. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a great day.